Okay, so there are times within a production workflow that you want a little bit more of a robust sample editor. And this is what this button here is all about, but there's a little catch. Go to the Preferences, in Live, under File Folder, you can designate your sample editor. I have mine as Soundtrack Pro. Um, you can pick it just by hitting Browse, and there it goes. Okay, so that's fine. When I go and hit the edit button with this sample, here we go, and here's the catch. Since Ableton uh, had not yet saved this sample, I've saved the, the session, but Ableton is still referencing this sample in its raw state. And sure enough, when I look at this, this is my own personal loop library and not this Ableton project. How to fix it, quit. Now when I go into this clip, if I hit save, now let's see what this does. It's still not gonna do it, okay? Because I have not made any association yet with this track and my session, okay? So the workaround here is to, I've got my section that I wanna work with, let's hear it. Okay, and what I want to do is do a crop here, which is going to marry this sample to my session. And you'll see when I hit edit, go into Soundtrack Pro, now this thing will be located in my session, Dense Matter Project, so, uh, right down there in the thing. Here's the thing that I want to do. I'm going to make silence here. I want to make silence here. This, by the way, is the raddest um, audio editor ever. And we'll be doing a tutorial on this one too soon. Here's what I want. Oops, I gotta get rid of that little deal. Silence. Okay, now when I go to play this thing, that's what I want. Now, when I save it, it now will default back to my cropped folder in my Fresh 12 Dense Matter project. Got it? And I'm just gonna say Timba STP edit V1. Here's the gotcha about Soundtrack Pro. I don't want a uh, file project. I want this back in its WAV file format, okay? Down she goes. Now, I have had some trouble um, having these refresh themselves uh, back into to the session. And sure enough, there is that same problem there. And it's quite possible that I'm doing something wrong. However, we don't care about Ableton's problems or my problems. We just care about making music. Let's go to my library for my project, which is current project under that white menu bar. They say current project. I'm going to go to my samples, processed, crop. And in here is going to be my BB Timba STP edit. There we go. And we play. Cool. Okay, so that is doing uh, external editing with another application within Ableton and a couple of little hoops to jump through, still musical nonetheless. Our next session, we're gonna look at making uh, very interesting clip envelopes.